First, the IBF title holder now making his way to the stage. Accompanied by his longtime trainer, Justin Gamber. He's a Nashville City, excuse me, Asheville City native, now fighting out of Las Vegas. He has dedicated his life to boxing and he is eyeing this golden opportunity to become the very first super middleweight undisputed world champion. And he is ready. Making the fourth defense of his title, record 21 wins, no losses. He is the undefeated reigning IBF super middleweight champion of the world, Sweet Hands, Caleb Plant. And now his opponent, the unified world champion and a star of boxing. Accompanied by his longtime trainer and manager, Eddie Reynoso, the fighting pride of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Boxing's number one star and pound for pound, great, the four division world champion and the current WBC, WBA, and WBO super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. What's going on? Appreciate uh, all the media showing up today. I want to thank Al Heyman, my manager Luis de Cubis, Showtime, Steven Espinoza, and um, everybody who plans on uh, tuning in Saturday night. Not much time left and really not much left to say, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Leading up to this fight, Canelo said that Mexicans don't f*** around. Yeah. Well, that's good to know because where I'm from, we don't f*** around neither. So, Saturday night, make sure you tune in. You'll be seeing the first undisputed super middleweight of all time. This is history, and you're looking at him. His name is Caleb Plant. Thank you. Uh, we would like to recognize Eddie Reynoso as Trader of the Year. We didn't have the chance to do it with the pandemic, so I wanted to take the time to do it. Muy merecido, y creo que este año va a volver a hacerlo. Back uh, to back. This is very well deserved, and I believe he's going to repeat this year. Gracias. So let me start here, Canelo. What did you learn about your opponent, Caleb Plant, from what took place that day in Beverly Hills when this fight was announced? No, nothing. It's different. When, when you're in the, in the ring, it's, it's way different. So I don't, I don't take nothing from there. More or less the same question to you, Caleb. Were you, but really a focus on were you surprised? I don't want to say how easily, maybe how quickly you were able to visibly get under Canelo's skin. I mean, well, it wasn't my intention to get under his skin and again I think you know you guys make a lot more of it than we do I'm sure me and him both have been in worse scuffles than that and I'm sure most people in this room have been in worse scuffles than that so it's again like he said when the bell rings it's completely different I don't take anything away from anything from the press conference no I always train 100% I always train obviously uh, for the style of my opponent but I always train 100% and, and I like uh, the idea Caleb, it's not easy to defeat Canelo Alvarez. Only one man has. It's not easy to win a close decision against him, considering his ability to land clean counter shots, heavy blows. Can you win a decision against Canelo? Is it a knockout? How does this fight look when you dream it, when you imagine Saturday night? The way I see this fight turning out is, you know, Jimmy Lennon saying, and the new undisputed and still undefeated. And, um, you know, as far as the judges goes, uh, he, he's had multiple close fights with Laura. Um, Austin Trout gave him a good fight. Uh, Triple G has given him good fights. And um, so, but I, I, I believe that the right people are put in place to make sure that the right decision is made come Saturday night. And anything out, uh, other than that is out of my control. So all I can focus on is the game plan, me and my team, and, and the job that has to be done. And that's what we're focused on. 